So first of all, let's head up to a web browser and visit sketchup.com. Visit the profile icon in the top right just here and sign in. Once you've done this, choose My Apps. Choose the account that came from the reseller from which you've purchased and we'll land in the My Products page. If we ever need to get here without visiting sketchup.com, you can visit myaccount.trimble.com. Here we'll click View Included Applications and we'll be able to see all of the products that are included with our subscription. This will be a little bit different depending on your subscription, um, but it's a good place to be able to see exactly what's there. I'm going to click Manage Devices and sign out of all previous installations of SketchUp. It's a good thing to do before you install a new version. Once we've done this, we'll head over to the Downloads page. Here we will see all current versions of SketchUp available uh, for Mac OS and for Windows. I'm going to be downloading the Windows version, which I can do just here. Once it's finished downloading, I'm going to head into the Windows File Explorer and visit my Downloads folder. Once I'm in here, I'm going to right click the SketchUp installer and I'm going to choose Run as Administrator. We'll click yes if you have that option and we'll proceed with the installer. Just click next and install and SketchUp will take a little bit of time to install. SketchUp will place a few icons on your desktop. I'm going to come up to this one that says SketchUp 2022, which is the version we've installed. And then I'm going to press the sign in button. Here I will enter my Trimble ID, my username and my password. If it's the first time I've signed in, this would be the best option to use rather than sign in with Google or sign in with Apple. Once you've signed in, you can close your web browser windows and we should see that SketchUp has recognized your sign in. This is easily verified by looking in the top right hand corner of this window or clicking this licensing button just here. Here we'll see that we've got a Trimble ID with a subscription that is active. Let's head back to the files tab and SketchUp is ready to go.